What's going on YouTube? My name is Myth and today I'm going to be starting a wall weapon challenge. I'm playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now a lot of people have done this before but I just wanted to do it um, it's not kind of as a practice but also something you guys can enjoy watching. Um, and what this allows me to do is only use weapons purchasable off the wall. This does include perks as well um, and I'm allowed to use the starter pistol because it's the starter pistol. It's, it's pretty much explains it all pack of punching is allowed and pretty much everything else exclude in using the mystery box so hopefully we'll get on with this and you guys will enjoy this all right so we are in game and as i mentioned before pack of punching is allowed perks are allowed and buying weapons off the wall is allowed now a lot of people will be like oh just go ahead and buy this gun because it's a wall weapon um but my thing i like to do is actually uh, just start off with the starter pistol and just maximize points. Wow, that that's that is really weird. I've never gotten an insta kill on the first kill. So this will be pretty interesting. So I kind of feel like there we go. So we can build up this wall. Um, and if you guys are gonna enjoy this challenge, if you're gonna watch this whole video, if not, that's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and use the insta kill just to go ahead and get rid of those guys. Um, you're probably thinking that was kind of a waste. I could have just waited until the insta kill was gone and maximized points, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but as I was saying, hope you guys will continue watching the whole video as well as the upcoming Wall of Weapon Challenge um, videos that I will have for Farm and the Bus Depot. So those will be coming up soon. Um, I won't guarantee as much success as on this map because this map offers a lot of versatility. Um, I can move around. I mean, you can move around on those maps too, but this one you can move around easier than I guess you could say and you also have pretty much all perks um, all like main perks for survival so this one ought to be ought to be pretty fun hopefully this one lasts a good bit uh, hopefully you guys will um, watch them all so I can go ahead and actually buy the first wall weapon which is the only one I'm actually gonna buy which is the mp5 now this is like probably one of the the best wall weapons out there I don't know if I should say this or not, but it's mostly, I guess you could say, one of the best wall weapons for survival. But it's also a really great weapon, practically in any game mode. Um, so, I really enjoy using it, and it's to me, it's actually one of the best weapons to use throughout all of survival. And even playing on other maps and stuff, it's really just a great weapon in, in total. So... Um, I really enjoy it. It's kind of actually an easy place to get to. Now, it is kind of hard um, when I say that. When you have a train, you're going through here, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the deal. Um, but it's practically it's behind one of the best doors. Um, and I, why I say that is because it includes Juggernog, which is probably one of the best, if not the best, perks. Um, I don't know why that why that looks so textured out. I've got textures on high, so I don't know. But anyways, I, I really just... The reason why I chose to do this challenge first is because, one, I enjoy doing challenges for videos and, and pretty much video games itself. And hopefully, um, as I become a better skilled person in zombies, I'll have deeper and more challenging challenges some considering the game modes itself like buried mob of the dead um, and other game modes too so hopefully you guys will also contribute by giving me some ideas for some game modes to do so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to waste as much ammo as possible and I'm gonna grab the max max ammo so so one thing that I know that I will have to do with this is if I want to pack a punch this weapon it's going to take a crap ton of points um, once that happens it's gonna take 5k which you guys are gonna think that's not a lot but then if you think about it if you've ever used the weapon and pack a punch it it costs a crap ton of, mu of points just to get ammo for it, 4,500. Now, of course, it is a pack-a-punch weapon, um, and this weapon doesn't need to really be pack-a-punch till in on in the late rounds, um, and I'm hoping 
I can get very far with this weapon, even without pack-a-punching. And when I pack-a-punch it, I should be able to get even farther, so... Yes, that works. So I'm not sure if I want to go with Jug first, um, or... I probably should go with Jug first. Wanna be the best option. Um, I actually kinda wanna have 3200 so I can get some ammo as well. And not have to worry, so. Let's. Let's go ahead and actually build up this barrier. That could have been bad. Is that a nuke? There's gotta be one more somewhere. Where you at, zombie? Where you at? Is that it? Is that it? Nope. But we're not gonna waste this. A lot of people would think you you shouldn't waste that. Um, I should wait, but yeah, it is kind of a good idea to actually wait and use that until you killed all the zombies, but considering there's only one left, I couldn't have maximized the amount of points it w I would have gotten anyway, so it was still a good idea. So. Um. Sweet, already 53 kills in. Also, another thing I probably should have mentioned, but if you guys have checked the description before you actually started watching the video, you'll have noticed that I also have put in no quick revive. Now, what this means is I will not be able to revive myself, but I kind of want to keep it that way because I wouldn't, I kind of don't really, I don't want to be kind of cheap and be able to continue because it's supposed to be a challenge, so... Mm, go ahead and use that. Gives me a double the... Okay. Let's go ahead and do this right there. Oh, I didn't get any points for that. Oh, that's pretty sad. There's one more behind it. This must be really slow, that's what I was saying. It's a really slow one. There we go. On to round six, finally. I shouldn't say finally. So, it'd be um, a pretty good idea to actually open this one up, but there's not really much I actually need up there. Maybe besides the Galva Knuckles. Um, uh, but other than that, it's not something I'm worried too much about opening up, so... I think I'm gonna get double tap and... stamina up. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna sit here for a bit, we're gonna gather some points, and then we're gonna get some ammo. I know exactly what I need. Could have been bad. Oh, schnizzle. This is bad. So stupid. There we go. That could have been real bad. Whew. Thankfully, I've picked up some skills on dodging zombies. So, there you guys go. Got out of that one. Could have been really sticky. Whoa, bad misclick again. I'll try to conserve ammo. Get over here, and bad, there we go. 
I like it when they don't actually explode. There we go, there we go. So, that actually got us a lot of points considering I wasn't thinking it would. Um, we're gonna go here and actually... I'm gonna buy a double tap. Um, and... We're going to buy Simtex grenades. Cause why not? You know? Those will work well. Look at that. Double tap root beer. I think it's called double tap, or it's either called that or double tab. Something of that nature. I didn't I don't pay too much nose um attention to the uh, perk names. I've cause at one time I thought Juggernog was Juggernaut. Now of course that is what it is. Pretty much like referencing that you're becoming a juggernaut because you can withstand so much damage being given to you. That was... Alright. We're going to little do a little herd here. Well, it's not really called a herd. I'm going to lead you over there. Jump to there. That one. That was pretty good. It's not bad. Here we go. On to run eight. A round kind of took a little longer than I expected, but let's go ahead and use that. Probably won't get much from that. I'm not sure if, how Carpenter works if you get... Okay, so I evidently... Okay, 200. I'm not sure, but I think with Carpenter and the, um... Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't know. I can't even think of the name of the, um, Kaboom thing. The nuke. That's what it's called. I'm pretty sure you only get a set amount of points, just even though you, if you nuke a lot of zombies, you only get a set amount. I guess it's because you could then hoard up a bunch of zombies, have them all, a lot of spawn, and then you could just knock them all out. So, you guys are probably thinking, why are you doing that right here? What I'm doing, um, you guys probably know what I'm doing, which is training the zombies. It is quite early to do this, I don't get me wrong, that could have been bad. Um, considering, you guys probably are thinking, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I know sort of what I'm doing, so that's why I'm here, right? I could have been bad. I went the wrong way. I was trying to go over that way. That was horrible again. All right, we're gonna sit here for a little bit. Probably could have saved that. All right, so what I want to do now is I no 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 we're gonna save up our points and get sleight of hand last we don't need sleight of hand because if you look at the fast reload already with this we should not have to worry so I'm actually it it would be smart to conserve but I'm gonna go ahead and do this I don't want to be on that spot where I'm down there a bunch of zombies are coming after me and I don't have any way to come get ammo and I just gonna go ahead and be ready for it so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out part 2, click on the screen now. If you guys want to check out the previous zombie video, click on the screen now as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.